Teacher with another video on Easy Math. Yesterday I set the schedule of my topics. Based on the topics today I am going to release on permutations and combinations. My first video on permutations and combinations. Our first topic is permutations. Okay, the name seems to be somewhat difficult, but it's not. Okay, let's keep sight the permutation and let's take one example. Okay, let's take the number lock all of you may use. You can insert from 0 to 9 digits and there will be 4 boxes, right? Now, if we take that example, we can insert so many in the first box. Like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Right, means total 10 possibilities. Total 10 possibilities. Okay, now in our second box, how many possibilities do we have? We will have same possibilities 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We will have 10 possibilities. In our case, let's take just three possibilities okay in our second box in our third box we can have one two three four five six seven eight and nine means ten possibilities here too now if we arrange any random number from uh, in our first box any random number in our second box random in our third box it will be a complete mess right so let's arrange them in an order. Can okay, we think how you can arrange order? Okay, now let's imagine we inserted zero in our second box. Okay, then how many possibilities will we have in our third box? You can guess that there are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. If we insert zero in our second box, means we'll have ten problems. 10 possibilities if we insert one in our second box we'll have total of 10 possibilities again for two 10 possibilities and so on and for nine we'll have 10 possibilities again means total here there are 10 into 10 possibilities for each means 10 into 10 100 let's keep that as 10 into 10 Okay, now here for 0 you will have 10 into 10 possibilities again, right? For 1, 10 into 10 again. For 2, you will have 10 into 10. For 3, 10, 10 and so on. For 9, 10 into 10 again. Means total of 10, 10 into 10. Means 10 into 10 into 10. 10 into 10 into 10. Okay, now why I have not multiplied? Now you will understand. Now what is the total, the, to the total possibilities in our first box into the total possibilities in our second box and so on into the total possibilities in our last box or nth box. Means if there are, let us imagine, let us imagine there are x possibilities in each box and there are total of y boxes. Then what will be the total? x into x into x into x into and so on and so on until y times okay which is nothing but is equal to x power y right Okay, now let us imagine there are separate there are separate possibilities in each box. Means in first box we will have n possibilities. In our second box we will have some m, m possibilities and in third box we will have o, something like that. Then what will be it? It will be the product of all those. Right? You can guess that easily. Okay, now Let's take off this example and now let's go to permutations. If 
there are some possibilities of arranging the numbers. Now let's take there is a list of n items in that. Okay now in permutation the order matters. Means let's take there are elements 1, 2 and 3. Now here the permutations of these have possibilities of 1, 2, 3 or 1, 3, 2 2, 1, 3 2, 3, 1 Still, what are the possibilities? 3, 1, 2 3, 2, 1 3, 2, 1 so these are all the possibilities now if we take that as box in our first box we can insert one or two or three one or two or three now in in permutation, we should not repeat the values. Means here, we'll have just two possibilities. In our case, let's imagine we inserted one in our first box. Then you have two possibilities. Two and three. Right? Now, if we again imagine we inserted 2. Now here we have just one possibility 3. Right? Before as we observed. We said that if there are different. If there are different number of possibilities. Then the total is the product of those each possibilities in each box. So here in first box, we have 1, 2 and 3, right? 3 possibilities. In our second, we will have 2 possibilities. In our third, we will have 1 possibilities. Then, what are the total number of possibilities? You can get this easily. It is 3 into 2 into 1, which is nothing but 6. Now, what if there are n possibilities in our first box? There are n possibilities in our first box and there are n boxes. Then in our first box, we will have n possibilities in second, n minus 1 in third. n minus 2, if we return them, in first we will have n. n into n minus 1 into n minus 2. 2 into and so on and so on until into 1. In our last box, we will have one possibility. Now, it, if you know about this term, it is written as n and an exclamatory mark. If you know about this, okay. If you not know, I will explain. Now here, what is this symbol? This symbol is called as factorial. Means, n factorial means 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and so on until n. Means, in other words, n factorial means the product of first n natural numbers. Okay, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon to never miss my videos. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer in the next video.